I figured it'd be easier just to do a quick uh, video on what I'm thinking here. Um, so my only funky transition between the eighth inch and existing quarter inch would be this seam right here, which I'm still going back and forth on whether to just come all the way back to the joint and to take all this out and I don't know what this is. I could probably sand it off, but that would just, I wouldn't have to deal with that. And it gets rid of a nasty part of where some border was. Um, eventually I'm going to go like the four inch peel and stick uh, plastic tiles or metal tiles and do a peel and stick backdrop with the thin, uh, probably like the brushed metal or something back there I don't know I haven't looked at options yet but I, I've seen a kitchen with the brushed metal ones in it and it looked pretty good um, see and then we uh, when we were trying to get the border off we took a bunch of bunch of it there so that definitely will need to be covered up with uh, the peel and stick and then I got I mean we I've been using the goof off and mixed results I guess it it got the border off but it I've still got a sticky adhesive residue that I've still been scrubbing at and I haven't been able to get it off so I mean, it's livable for now and like I said just in the future when I have a little bit of extra money I can just go get some of those peel and stick tiles and just do a backsplash there um, one thing that I was thinking on the shelf so what I was wanting, uh, pencil out of my mouth, what I was wanting was, and I've got a cutout of the old wall that I can get you a pattern of the curves, but I was wanting the bottom of the shelf to curve around the top of the door, and then sit right over the door right at the top or right at the bottom of the curve so then for trim all I've got to do is run one straight piece of trim up to the bottom of the shelf and then that's done here I don't know how I would trim around that so I don't know how easy it would be if you could uh, you could take that center one out and then knock the back off and just add uh, probably about another two inches because there's that's pretty well even with the top of the door so it just needs really probably an inch or you know inch and a half uh, that's what I was kind of wanting in the shelf. Anyways, uh, if you can't do it or you know how I could trim the curve up to the shelf, because otherwise that's going to be sitting way close to the ceiling and kind of going to be uh, useless if I can get the lights out of it. So I know that's down well, here. You can kind of see where... Uh, ceiling's going to be there so way up at the top of the door it only gives me uh, I maybe got four inches or so there where if it was down that makes that a lot more usable although it's mostly just going to be some knickknacks and like I said probably some of those pops like your green giants on your desk that we got you but if it was down here you know that's a lot more usable space so just uh yeah i just wanted to ask if you could maybe do that otherwise the rest of the shelf is perfect um, so oh well let's go back to our paneling so if i go one eighth and i'm measuring from here as my joint 
and originally I think this is only 37 inches to here I think that's what that 37 is for so you have a joint there over the window uh, oh, yeah and then my next joint is here at the edge of the window so that would be one full piece but I have you know that's a double I have wiggle room that we could that I could adjust the front back and really I'd probably start here and work to the front but start with a full sheet here and then just go um, yeah like I said I'll I'll have this funky I'll have that funky quarter inch to an eighth inch transition right here where if I go back to here I believe my I believe these are the edge screws for the cabinets and that's the bottom screw so the kitchen cabinets come to about here um, so that would hide if I got that transition back here that would hide that quarter inch to an eighth inch transition for the most part and then when I went when I do my backsplash I think that'll cover the transition from there and I can just live with it I guess but uh, I think I'm going to show Jamie the gray wood paneling and that would also save a lot of time if I don't have to primer and paint all the walls and I could just throw up pre-finished paneling that'd save a bunch of time and put us more back on our goal to be out of here by the 31st so um that's where i'm at let me know what you think uh and i think i think i am gonna go ahead all i've got to do see i didn't want to i didn't want to get into this trim and bugger this trim up for the counter there's a blade um but i got enough there i think i can get that pushed back and get in there and maybe even throw a little bit of masking tape over that corner bead there to try to protect it but that was my big thing i didn't want to tear that up so and that's kind of what talked me out of doing it again um, but i think if i do it i'm just going to go go ahead and come all the way back here to the one joint and then just fudge the rest of this wall back to here so i mean 48 yeah, that pretty much moves my joint just from here to here. And uh, that's going to move this joint to the middle of this one, which would be right on the edge of the window, which probably would not make getting around the window too bad. So that's what I'm looking at right now. Um, got checks in the mail today, so Menards or somebody's going to get a good little sales ticket from me here probably tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, I'll get this posted and get you a link. We'll talk to you later. Have a good night.